You ready? Are you dancing? <laughs> All right. I have Elizabeth here. Say hi. Hi. And we are going to teach you how to swim to the bottom of the deep end of the pool. How deep is the one at Jack Carter Pool? 12 feet. And I can swim down to a bomb. So, with a little bit of movie magic, we're going to change instantly for you. So here's what we're going to do. Elizabeth, put your arms to your side. And we're going to change into our swimsuit. We have magically changed into our swimsuit. And so, we're ready to go and show you how to equalize at the bottom of the pool. So your ears don't hurt. You ready to go to Jack Carter Pool? Okay, here we go. All right, so here we are at Jack Carter Pool. Okay, Elizabeth, we're gonna show them how to dive down to the deepest part of the pool, right? Are you ready? But before we do, what do we need? We need some dive toys, don't we? Okay, do we have some? Where are they? Grab them. All right, you wanna dump them in? Here's how equalization works. Pinch your nose closed and gently breathe out against the pinched nostrils. You will feel something happen inside the ears as they equalize. The ear pressure equalization is generally accompanied by the sensation of fullness in the ears. Now, watch as Elizabeth jumps into the water. She's swimming down. Right here, she plugs her nose and she starts to blow into her nose and that blowing into her nose causes the pressure inside of her head to push out through her ears. This counters the pressure of the water pushing in on the ears. Go. Bottom line is that if a diver dives underwater without equalizing his ears, the increased pressure in the outer ear compared to the middle ear flexes the eardrum inward and causes that discomfort or squeeze. So a diver must always equalize the air pressure in his middle ear with the added pressure in the outer ear. If not, you might suffer some pressure-related injuries and could even rupture the eardrum. Now when diving down 9 or 10 feet, uh, you're going to feel some pressure and you may even feel some pain, but it's unlikely that it's going to damage your eardrums at that depth. But it's possible, so you want to be careful and make sure that you're always equalizing when you're going down. Now, inside of your ear, there's a eustachian tube that connects your inner or your middle ear to your throat, nose, and mouth. And so when you plug your nose and you blow, what that does is it pushes that air through that eustachian tube or pushes that pressure through that eustachian tube and it causes your ears to, uh, to counterbalance. If you do it when you're not in the water, you can feel a popping sensation in your ears. Now we taught these girls here how to swim down uh, using that technique to pick stuff up off the bottom of the pool and they didn't have any problems at all. No ear pressure, no ear pain. Well, I hope this video helped you uh, understand how to equalize when you go down to the bottom of the deep end and that you have fun and you're safe. Make sure you always swim with the buddy, especially if you're swimming in very deep water. With some practice, you'll get it. Have fun.
favorite swimming pool. It has a surfing board and it has a lazy river. And best of all, 